Hi, how's everybody doing today? This is Sean, and I'm here to open up. We're going to open up the Vega Box 2020-21 Series 1 Upper Deck Hockey, and we're going to open up the Blaster Box. Let's see the card we get in. And uh, earlier in one of my videos, I already got the 201 for our set. It's nice, so we're going for extra ones. And we also got a really nice ROM. He's another fifth, another 205. And then Robert, Robertson is going to play really well, especially with the team that Toronto has. And I don't know what kind of trades will be going down. But And then, obviously, we got our other guy here. He's badass. Vatela Kuzov. 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 That's a canvas. And people are sleeping on them canvases. They're actually good cards to have if you're going to go to hockey games and try to get the guys to sign them. Because the Sharpie works really well on the canvas. So let's get into this because there's going to be a lot of packs. I just figure I'd do it all at one time. And I need the cards for our set, which we're putting together. It's almost done. Except for Young Guns, obviously missing out of it. So that's what we're looking for. And then we'll see where we go from there. We're going to this big box first. Well, let's put all the packs together, you know what I mean? So I like them. There's 200 cards. In the base, and then there's 50 cards uh, for rookies in the series one, and in the series two, it's done the same way. They have done these boxes differently. There used to be like three, three to four young guns in each one of these boxes, and then the, the, the or they would have tens. They have the tens versions of it, which I have a few of them. I haven't opened up uh, from last year. Jack Hughes is in that. I have like four tens. That's all have. You know, Connor McDavid. He is a point scoring, you know, he's phenomenal. Um, I guess him, him and Sage Crosby are the ones that are really trained with, um, are trained with uh, Wayne Gretzky and Mario Lemieux. So if you're training with guys like that, <laughs> wow. What a, first, what an honor. And two, uh, it's amazing. Okay, let's see what we got big gun wise. Oh man, 201 be in here, and I hate that they don't put no plastic on that. It's so cheap. Okay, we got Jason Robertson. That's a good card. That uh, is 235. They the other ones like I showed you in my video, other videos, you know, like from 2015 and stuff, or even before that. I even got a, you know, I got a card like this that has Sid Crosby and the Vatican's rookie season on it. You know, the rookie card on it. So. Where are you at? There's probably a chance to get a fabric in the big box, so we'll separate these right here. And then these special packs, they're throwbacks. This is on here. The throwbacks in 94, 95 die cuts. So we'll open them at last. Let's see what we get in there. And like I said, a lot of these cards are gonna need. I'm wearing gloves, like these, like these you get fingerprints on them. I put them right in put one touches when I pull these things out most of the time. I was like, you know. Paisley, and then get my one touches and examine the card to see what condition it's in. We're basically looking for 201s and inserts. These are the base cards. They're nice, and when I show you the set, and I need to buy these boxes anyway because, as I was saying in all my videos, and I say it all the time, that the way that they make this stuff, the retail stuff, is you have to buy different things uh to get your to find the low and, and and low cards and high cards well there's some kind of pink card in here let's see what's this about we got zach and there's our it's a nice insert these are supposed to be uh portrait ones there i'll show you what the other portrait ones look like i have like i like the 2016 ones they're a lot better these are kind of childish but once you pull that out unless you have an anomaly pack uh, there's probably not anything else in it, so we'll go ahead and put a one, put this in a one, uh, in a paint sleeve, and then because uh, that will go with our set, we'll put the portrait set together, and we'll go into the big one here. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of cards. I already have a few boxes, you know, like a box of extra cards that I'm putting a set together for Joshua and Ashley, and whatever you know, I'll have extra, so I'll leave my um. Oh, another, <laughs> that's funny. I got another portrait card. I'm waiting for an autograph. I've never pulled an autograph out of any of these. There are talking, there are autographs in these, and I have never pulled one out yet. But like I was saying, 
normally they're just regular cards but this foil on them see and if you and it's a rookie you know what i mean so it'll say right there a rookie see how it says rookies these foil cards if you're going to get them graded or something like that you put a fingerprint on them they will grade your card badly unless you know uh you know unless you're in there with that criminal organization psa and if your buddy's with them they'll grade anything that you throw through the roof them, pretty much i've seen some psa pens and i have to be honest look at look at the patrick Mahomes stuff the optics Look at the back of the cards because that's how they cut them. But there's actual some of these cards that they're got 10. Oh, fabric. Nice hit, Sean. Jersey. Brett Connolly. Nice. So you got a fabric. Nice, nice, nice. And I have a. Put that there for a second. Oh, and I need this card. I know that. It's modern. Nice. Cool. So we got a fabric card. Go ahead and I have a, a actual. Thing for fabric cards, they're just a little bit thicker. The penny sleeves, when you buy these, you see the difference. They're thicker cards, so that way you don't mess your corners up. And then there you go. And um, I usually put the fabrics in the binder with the, when I do the set, unless it's some super super face because no fabrics really grade that well. And I can already see imperfections in this one, and I just opened it so. You know, it's cool, very cool. I consider it a good hit. So apparently in the big boxes, you're gonna get uh, a fabric and uh, a couple young guns probably, I don't know. I don't know, I haven't hit any young guns yet, but we'll find out. We need them for a set anyway, and you don't really know until some guys develop very late and in, in they're like a couple years into uh, playing and then they're, oh, there's a young gun. Oh, yeah. My man, Victor uh, Sorstrom. Victor Sorstrom. We need him. That's 221. So, nice, nice, nice. I know we need him. Pretty much we need all of, all of the <laughs> young guns. We'll put the young guns there. And here's a checklist. I always keep the checklist, they're hard to get. So we got a nice little stack of cards there and checklist. Got this little penny sleeve. And uh, I like these products. I always put the sets together. I think they're fun. And uh, I was gonna do set two separate videos, but I figured while I'm doing this, I'm always gonna go ahead and try to get the card for our set. So when I finish the set, I can show you, except we'll be missing some young guns, which will, keep going after is a game Malkin. we need him for sure he's a beast unbelievable unbelievable talent very talented player it's tough okay, I like the way the cards look they kind of rounded corners on them you got to really be careful on how you put them in penny sleeves these cards because they're very delicate uh, corner wise, I think it's my opinion. So I don't know. Uh, that's my experience with them. I'm very delicate putting them on there, but some of these penny sleeves do not fit. These cards are just a little bit wider or something. So looks like we got a hit in this one too. This looks like a canvas. Nice, Gabriel Langston. We're looking for young guns, two canvases. The young gun canvases are very, can be very expensive. They can be very expensive. So, got that, that's cool. We need the canvas anyway, so like I said, we're trying to put the whole thing together. Like we've been doing it for a while. I know the two ones are expensive and people turn them out and then they sell them for $200 and then down the road they become $700, $800 cars and they're like, wow, I should have held on to that. And yeah, they don't make a lot of them. And then you can see how many boxes we opened up on this channel and only got one of them so far. We might get another one. To, oh, I got a green card. And if that's a, Mc, a Connor McDavid, that is a big hit. Because uh, there's the Edmonton Oilers right there. So I say that. Whoa, Lightning, man. Good player, too. 
these are not numbered, but that's the color Dazzler. They're supposed to be like shining star cards that they did in 2016 and all that other stuff. Put that there for a second. All right, looks like that's good. That's a nice, these are really nice looking cards and that's gonna go in our set also. There we go. So that's another thing, if you get these graded, you don't want fingerprints on them, so. All right, we got, let's see, two, four, six packs to go. So far we've got one gun gun and we have uh, four inserts and a fabric so that's not bad looking that's the way it's going to be nice that guy needs to buy some teeth it's a fella yeah back in the day they used to have guys that just called enforcers in hockey and that's why Wayne Gretzky never got uh you know, nobody ever hurt Wayne Gretzky because if you even sneezed on Wayne Gretzky, he was always on a team that had, oh, I got a young gun on this one. He was always on a team that had a guy called, you know, an enforcer. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he had guys like Norris that would, and, and little Tony Donati and all them dudes, they would beat the shit out of you if you touched Wayne Gretzky. And uh, my cousin's a Phillies fan. He always says that. And I'm like, I don't care, dude. What do you, whatever you say. They say Michael Jordan traveled a lot. I still like watching them play, and they're the best they ever did. You know, best at their positions. That's a nice one, Josh Morris. Josh Norris is a good player. That's two oh nine. Nice, nice. We got two young guns. That's good. That's good. So far, so good. Hopefully, we get three, and we get the 201, and that would be banging. That'd be awesome. And the cards for our set, obviously. Because if I could get the 201, that would be a good for, um, actually, to, I can put that set together for, looks like we got another insert. Wow, we got a shit ton of cards here. Um. This is not a rookie, but this is a Vetchkin. And I've seen a guy open up one car. Oh, you know, he, he was opening up a box. I was looking at his video a little while ago. And uh, he pulled a gold Vetchkin out. I mean, uh, Malkin. He came up and he didn't, he didn't know who he really was. And I'm like, dude, that dude's a beast. <laughs> Just like uh, a Vetchkin. A lot of people get these cards graded. Like I said, it's teeth I own. I like coffee over a lot of other stuff. I think the other stuff is really mass produced. There's a lot of mass production of these, of, of, of uh, penny and products. I mean, they have so many, and I'm thinking we're going to a junk wax error. So, trying to just do things I enjoy. Oh, my man, Sid Crosby Canvas. Are you kidding me? Nice, nice, nice. Oh man, you know I'm a Penguins fan too, and a Pirates fan. I was here and talked that Pittsburgh Pirates might move out of Pittsburgh. I was like, well, they, I didn't even know they were even there. They haven't been there since the 70s. <laughs> Damn shame. When they lost that ASC, when they lost the championship in the 90s, the game seven, when Bob Walk came in and gave up a big tomato or a big uh, watermelon to Cabrero and uh, they just were never the same they never recovered the whole organization they should have just left Dre back in there or bring they could have bring in Tom uh, Tim Wakefield that year also there was no one could touch that knuckleball it's one of the hardest pitches to touch oh my goodness we got a canvas ooh flurry Man, what is this, a penguin box? It actually plays for the Knights now, but that's a nice canvas, so I'm happy. Just some canvases, two young guns, and a fabric card so far, thus far. And we get this pack and the other pack. And maybe this is the 201 in here, who knows? We got two 
two young guns. We should have, uh, in my thinking, out of all that, you should have at least three young guns. I'm going to open up two big boxes, man. Not to, oh, I do have a young gun. Oh, see? Alright, this is that. Uh, he's good. Oh, he is good. Oh, yeah! My man! Igor. Igor Koroskufa from Toronto. I was kidding around with Ashley yesterday because she pulled this card and I was like, I would like to have that card because I was going to put it in a set. And uh, she was trying on Maple Leafs fan. And I was like, what did they do? Get half the draft? I mean, they got I got two, three players here. <laughs> Just two right in there. And I got another one in the book. <laughs> Toronto. <laughs> They're like, we this can we just have the whole entire draft and make it easy? And then we'll just give players to people. You know. I don't know. I think it's kind of funny, to be honest with you. We'll see what these are about. Obviously, we're looking for our friend. The Diamond Cut Rookies. These are nice, man. I have some. We, I should do that yesterday, you got Ooh, maybe, maybe, maybe. No, no, no. Who know? Oh, we got Gab Blever there, Gargardi. The Vigardi people have been in hockey for a minute, man. I recognize these names and stuff, and I was like, shit, I used to watch some of these guys. And then you know they're all related to Kachucks. That's like the, it's like in football. You got families, five generations of families that play pro football in the NFL. The same with hockey. Their kids are good. Their brothers, their brothers playing against each other. And they will fight each other. I mean... <laughs> If they're trying to win, there's nothing more annoying than skating down the ice and having someone tug on your your jersey the whole time you're skating. It gets annoying. And that's what they used to do, and they still do it somewhat today. They disrupt it. You have to with somebody like Austin Mapp. He's still strong, though. He doesn't matter, and the Vetskin's another guy like that. So I think we did pretty good. We got two boxes of the big box in the in the blaster box, and we got a nice green shiny refractor card and a nice uh, a nice um, fabric and some of these portraits. Cool, that one rookie, and then we got the three gold cards and then two nice uh you know two really three <laughs> actually three young guns, three really good ones. Low number two. Damn, we just missed him. It's 209 right there. Odd number. The other guy that, whoever was, uh, you know, whoever got the other boxes, probably hit, got the 201 in one of them. So, it's not, it's not bad. Can't be greedy. I was just trying to get it for Ashley. I'm not trying to sell them. Um, people make mistakes like that. Um, especially on these cars. They're, they're hard to get. As you can see, how many boxes and how many packs we open up. And yes, we're hitting them around, and we need these cards, no doubt about that. And everybody's like, oh, don't put them in a binder or whatever. Look, I put the 201s, and I know what key cards, and I know what kind of players I'm looking for. So they go in the binder, they're safe in the binder, and I've taken them out of the binder personally and sent them into PSA and other companies and got 10s on them. So uh, it's a little bit, but I use a good binder. I mean, I go out and make sure you get something that's going to keep the cards safe and and not have thought up dirt on them and plus i'm putting the set together so that's something i'm going to have so it's not like i'm trying to sell them but if someone was to buy them they would be in mint condition you know the cards will every card be mint and i can't do nothing about how these idiots did that that's just stupidity at a high level not putting plastic on them whatever so thank you very much for watching this channel and uh and let me know what you think about the hockey and i am going to make another video of, you know, because one of my friends was talking to me about what cards to get and stuff like that and hockey. And there's just, a, there's just, I just have to show you what I collect and what things are, are very popping off and, uh, you know, very expensive. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and have, have a good night and uh, have, have a good holidays. Thanks.